Good morning all. Welcome to Examiner 365. Hope you all are good and safe. In this video, we are going to discuss about the important current affairs questions and answers on 14th December 2022. Do watch the video till the end. We will ask you a question at the end of this video. Please type your answer in comment section. Let's begin the session. Which state has become the first state in India to launch its own climate change mission? Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M K Stalin launched the Tamil Nadu climate change mission to protect the natural resources in the state besides restoring them on a long-term basis. During the budget for 2021 to 2022, the state government announced the launch of the Tamil Nadu climate change mission for an outlay of rupees 500 crore. to undertake climate change management and mitigation activities following this the government established india's first tamil nadu green climate company a special purpose vehicle to implement three major natural conservation projects namely green tamil nadu mission tamil nadu wetlands and tamil nadu climate change india's first dugong conservation center also set up in tamil nadu Let's talk about Tamil Nadu. Where is the capital of Tamil Nadu? Chennai. Who is the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu? M K Stalin. Who is the Governor of Tamil Nadu? R N Reddy. Which state or union territory launched the Winter Action Plan for homeless people? Delhi. With the winter setting in. The Delhi government is implementing the winter action plan to rescue the homeless from the chill and provide them accommodation and food in night shelters. Let's talk about Delhi. Who is the chief minister of Delhi? Arvind Kejriwal. Who is the lieutenant governor of Delhi? Vinay Kumar Saxena. The Navy of India and which country conducted the 39th edition of Coordinated Patrol named Ind Indo Corpat? Indonesia. The 39th edition of India Indonesia Coordinated Patrol between the Indian Navy and Indonesian Navy is being conducted from 8 to 19 December 2022. As part of Government of India's vision, Sagar, security and growth for all in the region. Indian Navy has been proactively engaging with countries in the Indian Ocean region to enhance maritime security in the region. India and Indonesia have been carrying out corpads twice a year since 2002 with an aim of keeping this vital part of the Indian Ocean region safe and secure for commercial shipping, international trade and conduct of legitimate maritime activities. Let's talk about Indonesia. Where is the capital of Indonesia? Jakarta. Who is the president of Indonesia? Joko Widodo. What is the currency of Indonesia? Indonesian rupee. Let's move to next question. Who has been conferred with the SAES award for public leadership? M Venkaiah Naidu. Former Vice President M Venkaiah Naidu has been conferred with the 25th Sri Chandrasekharendra Saraswati National Eminence Award. The awards are given in the fields of public leadership, community leadership, science and technology and social thinkers who have made outstanding contributions in their respective fields. Who has been newly appointed as the judge of the Supreme Court of India? Justice Dipankar Datta Justice Dipankar Datta took his oath as a Supreme Court justice on December 12, 2022. In the presence of all justices, Chief Justice of India D.V. Chandrachud administered the oath to Justice Datta during the Supreme Court swearing in event. With the appointment of Justice Datta, the Supreme Court will have had 28 judges instead of the usual 34. Let's move to next question. According to Forbes, who is the richest person in the world? Bernard Arnold. 
He is the co-founder, chairman, and chief executive of LVMH Motor Hennessy, Louis Vuitton SC, the world's largest luxury goods company. Twitter's new boss, Elon Musk, has been displaced from his position at the top of the world's richest people list. Arnott is worth $186.2 billion, US dollar, according to Forbes. According to the 2022 Visaki Newsmakers Report, which is India's most visible company in the media, Reliance Industries Limited. Reliance Industries Limited, India's largest corporate by revenues, profits, and market value, topped the 2022 Visaki Newsmakers Report as India's most visible corporate in the media. State Bank of India, ICIC Bank Limited, Bharti Airtel Limited, and One Nine Communication Limited, which owns Paytm are the other firms in the top 5 rankings. Visaki's news score is the world's first standardized metric to measure news visibility for brands and individuals using artificial intelligence, big data, machine learning, and media intelligence. Who won the gold medal in the junior women's 10-meter pistol event at the 2022 National Shooting Championship, Manu Baskar. In shooting, Tokyo Olympian Manu Baskar bagged a gold medal in the 10 meter pistol junior women's event at the National Shooting Championship in Bhopal. Representing Haryana at the 65th edition of the National Shooting Championship, Manu Baskar beat Telangana's Isha Singh 17 to 13 in the final after topping the qualification with 583 points. International Day of Neutrality observed on December 12. International Day of Neutrality is commemorated on December 12th. It is a day when people look at the possibility of a world free of armed and other types of conflicts. The day was adopted by the United Nations General Assembly in 2017. Its focus was on advocating and campaigning for interstate peaceful relations. Switzerland serves as the perfect example of neutrality. Universal Health Coverage Day also observed on December 12. What is the theme of Universal Health Coverage Day 2022? Will the world we want a healthy future for all? Note on these points. Kenneth Lawrence Powell passed away. He was an athlete. Olympian and India's 1970 Asian Games 4-100 meter relay bronze winning team member Kenneth Powell passed away. He was one of the top sprinters of the country in the 1960s. He was popularly known as the Gentleman Sprinter, was an Indian track and field athlete from the state of Karnataka. Let's check previous two question and answer. Who has sworn in as the 15th Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh? The answer is Sukhbinder Singh Sukhu. Sukhbinder Singh Sukhu, a four-time MLA, was sworn in as the 15th Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh. Mukesh Agnihotri was sworn in as the Deputy Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh. Let's talk about Himachal Pradesh. Where is the capital of Himachal Pradesh? Its summer capital is Shimla and winter capital is Dharamshala. Who is the governor of Himachal Pradesh? Rajendra Vishwanath Arilkar. Let's check today's question. Who has taken charge as the chairman of NABARD? Please type your answer in comment section. What do you know about NABARD? What is the abbreviation of NABARD? Type more details in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and you have received some important points. How was the video? If you find this helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. And share it with your friends. To get daily current affairs notes, please subscribe to our channel. See you tomorrow. Bye. Take care.